Okay, you guys, we made it. We didn't think that there was gonna be a vlog this weekend, but the new camera came in in time. So yes, I ended up needing to get a new camera. I'm not happy about it. Basically, they would have had to replace the entire lens in the old camera that broke and it wasn't worth it. It was essentially like the camera was totaled. So, um, got a new camera. I got it rush shipped here because like, I didn't like not having a camera. Like, yeah, I could have skipped a weekend for vlogging, but um, there were so many things I wanted to film. Like I picked up a bunch of stuff from Sephora this week. So I want to film a haul. Um, I was itching to film it last night and then obviously I didn't. And I'm like backed up now because I, hadn't pre-filmed last last weekend, which I usually do. So I had like no footage to edit while I was like waiting to get a new camera. So I was like, I'm just gonna rush this one in, screw it, whatever. But right now it is still the middle of the work afternoon. It's about 3.15 ish and I was like, seriously craving some pumpkin spice donuts because this is actually the first day of fall weather. It's actually, kind of gloomy, um, not kind of gloomy, it's actually super gloomy out, um, very cool out, which will be nice when Michelle and I go shoot tomorrow because we won't be melting of heat in our cars when we're changing like you guys have been seeing um, on the last couple vlogs. So that'll be nice to not have to worry about that this time around. But yeah, it's just kind of put me like in a fall vibe. I'm like, ooh, I definitely want some some pumpkin spice Joan holes and then oddly I'm also kind of craving some Chipotle chips so I'm actually gonna stop at Chipotle too so I left the office for a few minutes to go get pumpkin donuts and Chipotle chips <laughs> what <laughs> but you know feeling it it's Friday I wanted it but tonight I am just packing obviously and styling for the shoot tomorrow we're excited because we're gonna shoot like fall looks for the first time being able to actually truly shoot fall looks. And by the way, this is a new um, Natasha Denona lipstick. I went and I got a third color. This one is Claudia, and this is almost a dupe for Tipsy from Jaclyn Hill. So if you guys have been looking for a dupe for that color, check out Claudia. It's a little bit more pink than Tipsy, but on the lips, it looks really, really close. So yeah. But like I said, we're actually gonna be able to shoot fall looks tomorrow. And I got like some sweaters from Forever 21, so I'm excited to wear those. And then we are also shooting in downtown Orange, which is like oh, one of my favorite areas ever. And I can't believe that we haven't shot there before. We thought about downtown Orange and we we're like, we're so dumb. Have we really been shooting this whole time trying to figure out where to shoot every weekend, trying to like be like, where haven't we shot before? That would be great. And this whole time, like we totally forgot about downtown Orange. So it's a really, really cool area if you're not from uh, Orange County or, or you don't know about it. It's very like old town. Um, it's this little circle roundabout area and it just feels very like Main Street old town USA. So that'll be cool. Lots of grunge vibes down there too. There's a, like a bunch of like rundown buildings and stuff down there. So it'll be really great for the kind of aesthetic that we look for. And then at some point this weekend, I gotta get my nails done. Like look at these, these are just like out of control, you guys. They're so bad. So that's what we're looking at doing this weekend. But for right now, I'm gonna go get my pumpkin spice donut holes on the first day that it actually fucking feels like fall. So excited. Hi, welcome to Duncan and Baskin. How can I help you today? Hi, can I just get a five piece munchkins um all pumpkin spice, please? Um I'm so sorry, but we just ran out of the pumpkin spice ones. Oh, of the munchkins? Yes. Do you guys have like the regular donut? Um we don't let me check. Okay. We do have a pumpkin muffin. Oh no thanks. So no donuts? No, I'm so sorry. Okay, no worries, thanks. I'm just gonna drive through then. Okay, I'm so sorry. No worries. Not your fault. Thanks. You guys, I am so heartbroken right now. What the fuck? No pumpkin spice donuts? <gasps> I could literally die. All right, success. Got my chips. Oh my God, did I just lose the lemon? Nope. Okay. Got lemon. Pro tip, put lemon on your Chipotle chips. It's amazing. All right, so back to the office to work for a couple more hours 
and then I am heading the fuck out of here and chilling slash doing laundry. It's gonna be an exciting Friday, guys. Hey, you guys, so I am back home. If you guys recognize this outfit, you know that I just finished filming my Sephora haul video. I just did it very casual. I didn't even redo my makeup. I look like complete crap, but I just like kind of wanted to be like super casual. Also, I was really, really excited to have my camera back and I just really wanted to film something, but I did not feel like redoing my makeup. So, um, just filmed it like this, but I am going to treat my skin a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use these two masks that I got in my haul. So this is the Sephora Hemp Mousse Mask. Uh, this is good for acne, which I have. And then I'm going to follow it up with this Oat Muse, Muesli Mask. I'm pretty sure I butchered that in my video, but um, this is like a soothing, hydrating mask. So I'm going to use both of these. going to use the green one first and then finish it up with this oat one and just kind of relax for a little bit before I get started with styling. I just took all of my makeup off, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the hemp mousse mask. And I'm so excited. So I found my little face mask tool so I don't have to get my hands all dirty. Exciting. Whoa. Whoa there. Well that just dropped off the freaking vanity, didn't it? I'm sure the lighting is atrocious in here. But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze, uh, probably just start out with that much. Okay, this smells like hemp. Wow. I am not a big fan of that, but it's fine. Okay, you have to actually use a lot on this. This is really, really thin. Oh, that is a strong hemp smell. Oof. Yeah, I'm not liking the scent on this personally. Not a big hemp fan. Wow, this is really thin. Like, I thought that this was going to be a lot thicker. Although it does say that it's a mousse mask. So, might be fine. I actually am not loving using this little tool. I feel like it's, like, distributing this very unevenly. And I'm not able to get, like, where I need to go in here. Like, I don't have enough on my nose. So I'm just, I'm gonna abandon the tool for right now. It was a good effort, but no. There we go. Okay, honestly, this smells like a cross between weed and a Christmas tree. It's the most unsettling situation for my nose right now. Okay, now that I look sickly, I'm gonna leave this on for five minutes and then we'll rinse it off and then we'll do the oatmeal one next. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Trevor attacked me and it all came off on the side. So FYI, it doesn't dry, which you wouldn't expect it to since it is a mousse mask, but I really can't get over the smell. I really, really hate the smell, um, but you know, we'll see if my acne miraculously clears up tomorrow. I can get like a little patch of acne up here. So let's we'll see how it does in the morning. Okay, and then now going in with the oat mask. I never realized like how helpless you are if you have low nails. Like I always thought it was like acrylics that make people helpless, but it didn't occur to me that it was because of the length of the nails and not the fact that it's just acrylic. That is the problem. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. So this one does have chunks of oat in it, as you guys can see. So that'll help with the smoothing because it's gonna gently exfoliate. Oh, I don't like the smell of this one either. It's like super, super sweet, but like, I don't know. It's got like, it's just got some weird scent to it. Like very sweet and then like this like background scent that just like is not good. But actually on the face though, it feels, it feels very, very creamy, which I like. Because if I'm wearing a hydrating mask, it better be nice and creamy. Okay, and that's what it looks like on my face. Um, and then we'll wait the five minutes and then I'll wash it off. Okay, 
All right, so for this one, again, not a fan of the scent. I guess I just don't like the scents of either of these. I don't know what Sephora is putting in these, but it doesn't smell good. But this one did definitely feel like very creamy on my face. It definitely felt very soothing and hydrating. I do feel like my skin is nice and moisturized. So I do like this one. If I can get over the scent, that would be great. But yeah, I would use these again. These were just like seven bucks at Sephora. They were not expensive at all. For like a quick little mask, I think that these are definitely good. Especially if you know, you're know you just doing like a night at home, you just wanna do a little bit of self pamper and stuff. These are definitely good and nice and affordable. But, it, you know, if I'm prepping to do an event or something like that or for something very, very special, I wouldn't use these. I would use something better like the Olay um, Glow Boost Mask with white charcoal. I've talked about this one. This one is really, really good. It's one of my favorite masks. Or I would use a Summer Fridays mask or something like that. Something that gives like instant results and is just like really, really effective. But for a pair of bargain masks, these aren't bad. So it is Saturday. You guys just saw me doing my hair. I am on my way now to Orange Circle to meet up with Michelle to shoot. But I'm also in the middle of filming a review on the foundation that I'm wearing right now. This is the new Smashbox Studio Fix. I think it's like the full coverage 24 hour wear foundation not wearing it for 24 hours but I'm currently in the middle of filming that so when I was doing my makeup I was like filming that process and then filmed a quick intro and stuff so if you guys want to check that out it'll be going up sometime after this vlog. I was so excited to shoot today because it's cooler today you know last time we shot you guys saw us we were dying it was like almost 90 degrees out even the shoot before that in Long Beach we were so hot but today was like oh it's just gonna be like a high of 77 at the hottest right so I was like oh I'll be cool all day I'll be fine it'll it's like no big deal but then like doing my hair and then filming my makeup I'm like oh my god I'm so hot right now <laughs> like I'm so hot but hopefully I'll cool down in a little bit but I did want to show you guys my first outfit so I'm wearing this very very fake <laughs> uh, Yves Saint Laurent shirt. This one is like a gray and a red one. So it's a little bit different than the ones that like most people are wearing. So I kind of liked it, but I am going to get one of those mo more classic ones. Then I am wearing my leather paper bag shorts. I have been wanting to style these shorts for so long and I wanted to wear this last week to the broad, but I forgot this shirt. It like had gotten wedged behind one of the doors in our house. So I never got to wear this last weekend. So I definitely wanted to start with with this outfit uh, for this shoot. But all of the rest of my looks, for the most part, are fall. I do have one slip dress that I got from Cotton On that I wanna shoot, but I'm shooting it with a leather jacket and combat boots. So I'm still gonna make it very fall appropriate. I'm excited to start getting into shooting some fall outfits and stuff. Hey. All right, here with Michelle. Can Wait, you're so much taller than me. <laughs> Okay, so we are in downtown Orange. Wow, it's very blue. It's like, yeah, I know. I'm yeah. kind of worried about that. I was worried about that because it was like And I love my overcast. Sun. Yeah. But oh my like, god, this is so nice to like, have. Look how clean this is. Like, yeah, this I know. is like. It doesn't smell little... like pee. Yeah, it's like, it's got like some LA vibes. Like, yeah, oh my god, I love city. this like 
little <laughs> structure thing over but here. It's clean. I love it. Yeah. Like that looks new. Yeah, a little bit worried right now because like as happy as we are that we're not gonna like melt while we're changing, um it's overcast, so we don't know how like the photos are gonna turn out. Yeah. And I I like my like I know I love sun, sun in my photos. Okay. Right. Somehow we're hot. We're sweating. <laughs> we're so hot right now. Puffer off. I am right. I'm like if I could take these leather shorts off, I would, but that is not appropriate. I bet when you do, so it'll area. be like when you're in the car, you'll be like, oh my god. My next dress is a silk dress. Ooh. It's gonna feel so good. That'll be nice. Yeah. Except for I'm wearing a leather jacket with it. Oh. <laughs> but I don't have to wear the leather jacket. Yeah. Like right away. So I did bring a leather jacket. Yeah, I brought the the Huxley one. Yay! Yeah! It's like, okay, I was I'm so excited. So I panicked and I was like, uh, I'm gonna do a small medium. Cause like I got scared. That it would be like way too big. That was getting to be too small if I want extra small small. Oh. I should have done extra small small small. Okay. But oh well, uh, it's fine. Like the shoulders are just like a little too. Uh, you got it. But it's it's fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. It's fine. Yeah. This is a chocolate chip cookie with sea salt on top. Oh, Yum. All right, so we just got done shooting. It was actually one of the quickest shoots we've ever done. Like we started shooting around like 11, or not 11, around 12, 15-ish, which I think we already mentioned um, because I was running late. <laughs> and it's 4.20 right now. So we got done so fast. We did four looks and we ate at Earth Cafe. We had like a full meal at Earth Cafe. So we are getting so much quicker. We're like so proud of ourselves. The situation with my car after shooting is not getting any better. Like it is a disaster back there. But for right now, I'm gonna go run errands. I gotta go to the grocery store. I already went to Target this morning, luckily, cause I had needed lashes to shoot with. But yeah, I'm just gonna go run and get some groceries for us. Maybe hit up Trader Joe's, not sure, because like we do need a little bit of a Trader Joe's refresh on some stuff. But we're also trying to save money for this weekend because next weekend, which you guys will see, we are going to uh, Dark Harbor, which is like the like scary Halloween mazes and stuff over at the Queen Mary. So we have to pay for those tickets. So I'm trying to debate and think about our budget and see if there is a truck making a U-turn and that made me very nervous. <laughs> but I just need to look at our budget and see if we have room to get some Trader Joe's stuff. Uh, just because also too, like I've mentioned in previous vlogs, we are trying to be mindful of spending right now because of our move. You know, we have to pay a deposit and stuff like that. So um, 
we're trying not to overspend on anything. So we are on our way to go get some pizza. Trevor got home and he was hungry. We gotta feed him or else he gets really hangry. No, I left everything in the freezer. That too. So we're getting him food since he didn't defrost his food in time. Um, you should have told me. I was at the grocery store. I could have just like grabbed some extra I didn't realize or something. It. You knew I was at the grocery store. I didn't realize I left my shit in the freezer. Well, you need to be better next time. It's my own, f I'm not blaming anybody but myself. <laughs> I know, it is your fault. Spart, you, you benefit from it, huh? This guy gets to come with his hi, oh my god. <laughs> Spartacus. Oh, hi buddy. Are you on a car ride? Huh? You're on a car ride. <laughs> So this pizza place knows Trevor so well that they gave us so much Parmesan and crushed red peppers. And I was but, telling them how you laugh yeah. at how they answer the phone. Yeah, this pizza place knows him so well that he'll call and like he doesn't even have to say hi or anything. Right away they'll, they'll be like, hey Trevor, because they recognize his phone number. Hey Trevor, 10 minutes. Yeah, it's really, and they know his order. Like. We switched it up today. I'm sure that you threw them off. Well, he, the owner wasn't there. Oh, but like he usually gets like a cheesy garlic bread as his meal, and What's like that big? it's it's big. What's um, yes, it is. And um, if the owner's there and the owner recognizes Trevor's like phone number, Trevor doesn't even have to order. I don't think you would even have to say anything. All you'd have to do is call, the owner would see you. I call and he <laughs> picks up and he says, hey Trevor, 10 minutes, see ya. <laughs> What are you gonna do when we, we move? I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna, gonna be, be so lost without this place. <laughs> so this is Trevor's side and then this is my side because I love black olives so much. Hey you guys, so it is Sunday now. I am on my way to my nail appointment because you know, clearly, like look at that, look at that growth. I think it's only been like three weeks. That's how fast my nails grow. So I gotta get them done. But I just wanted to show you guys, I don't think I showed you when I was like rushing around yesterday, but because you know of the incident last weekend and stuff, it made me kind of nervous and everything. So I went to Target and I got just like a couple of things for this new camera. First thing that I got was this little pouch for it to put it in, you know, whenever I'm not using it. I like this one because it has a little pouch in the front so I can keep like extra SD cards or like extra batteries and stuff in here. There we go. So little pouch right there. And then this part is nice and big, lots of room for the camera, but still keeps it really secure. It's super cushioned in there. And then it has a little handle on the back so that, you know, I can keep it right there for easy access. And then I got this little teeny tiny tripod. I'm so happy. That's like one really, really good thing about having to have had get a new camera is that um, I can now screw this camera onto a tripod. If you recall on my old one, the thread broke inside the camera so I couldn't screw it onto any tripod, which is also why it fell because it was just loose in my hand and I just didn't have a good grip on it. So now that I have this, like I feel like I'm gripping it much better. And then what's nice about this guy is that it is a metal thread. So it's not gonna break off inside the camera. And yeah, I just like the length. It's like the perfect length to hold. It does also extend. So if I wanna prop it up somewhere, I can definitely do that. Give it a little bit of height and stuff. So this feels just like a really, really good quality one. And then what's nice too is I can also do it sideways. So when Michelle was shooting me yesterday, she actually kept the tripod pot on and then we just turn the camera so that she could shoot me vertically with the camera and then when I'm vlogging I just 
keep it totally horizontal so that I can vlog this way. So um, definitely a very handy little tool. Makes me feel a lot better because I can really truly grip this and have a good handle on it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys those. I got those at Target in the electronic section. Both were on sale. The case was like eight bucks and then the tripod was like $16. So very, very affordable and much better quality than the last camera equipment stuff that I had gotten from Amazon Target for the win but uh, like I said I'm on my way to go get my nails done I am starving though I haven't eaten it's about noon and I had spent the morning editing my Sephora haul I had wanted to get it up before noon um, so that you know if there's any stragglers like just like lounging around in the morning slash like early afternoon that would be up if anybody wanted to watch it but uh, because of that, I haven't eaten today. I also haven't had coffee. Right now I'm running right on time for my nail appointment, but I'm gonna run a little late because I, I just really need to get something to eat and a little bit of coffee in me. I'm actually stopping off. I debated Duncan, but I'm like, how many times am I gonna go to Duncan? Although, I mean, last time I went, they didn't have my donuts, but I don't know, right now I just want something a little bit fresher, so I'm gonna go back to that Vietnamese place that uh, I showed, I think it was like two or three vlogs ago, and I'm gonna get their iced coffee because they have bomb iced coffee. It's so, so good. And then I'm also gonna get um, a couple of spring rolls and then maybe an egg roll from there. Just something like very easy to like grip and eat while I'm driving. Uh, and then we will go get these fixed because they desperately need it. Yo, I'm so mad at myself. I left my fucking cell phone at home. Mm, I freaking hate that. I'm so irritated with myself right now. I'm like, I know it's like good to like spend some time away from your cell phone, but I was planning on running a couple more errands and I needed to be able to communicate with Trevor for that, but I guess not. But that's okay. I will just enjoy some time unplugged. Although it's honestly giving me anxiety. <laughs> um, but the other like hold up too is that my freaking card, I keep it in my phone. Luckily, you know, I have my wallet, so I have other cards, but I was just like, damn it, like I was planning on using that card, but oh well. But this is the iced coffee that I get from them. It's so good. Oh my god. That tastes amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna go run get my nails did and uh, I'll probably see you guys afterwards. bummed I wanted to go visit my friend she works at this mall but when I got to her department they were like oh yeah she's gone out to lunch already and I forgot my cell phone at home so I couldn't locate her in the mall so I'm a little bit sad but here are the nails I don't know if you can see it's very dark anyway so here are my nails I decided to pull the trigger on my Halloween nails early uh, just because I couldn't decide what else I wanted to do so we did a like true almond pointed shape instead of like the coffin shape that I usually get and then we did like a very very dark gray it has a little bit of a shimmer to it but like barely at all and this is my first time having this shape nail so I went to go like scratch my head where I had these and I was like oh light pressure because these are so pointed but I love them like I'm so obsessed with the shape I think it's great it makes my hands look so long which I love so already getting in the Halloween vibes um, Michelle and I are gonna shoot at a pumpkin patch next time we shoot and I'll have these nails for them so I totally plan to do a photo where I'm like holding a pumpkin like up close with these nails so just getting into like those spooky vibes uh, which will be fun but now I'm headed back home I really need to film obviously since I haven't had a camera for the past week I haven't like pre-filmed anything so I need to pre-film some content for you guys so that you know I can upload on my regular schedule okay I just pulled up to get gas and gas is four dollars and nine cents right now what the actual fuck is going on? It's so expensive. 
Like, I'm about to spend my life savings on a tank of gas. This is ridiculous. Look at this, you guys. I don't know if you can see, there's a glare, but it's 409. That's so fucking ridiculous. So Trevor is making wings for us tonight for dinner. What is this one? Hot sauce. Okay, you don't want to tell them what you put in it. Oh, hot sauce with Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of salt, pepper, butter, and I think avocado oil. Yes, it was avocado oil, but yeah, so he's making that for himself. And then I have a different batch because I can't handle hot sauce. Um, we're going to do garlic parmesan for me, which we'll show you um, after it comes out of the oven. Because for that one, you have to do it after you bake it. All right, so these are Trevor's wings with his buffalo sauce. Are you going to retoss these in no. sauce? No, just as they are? No. Nope. Nice. And then these are mine to start with. We need to saute them, though, in garlic and olive oil, which I'll do in a second. I am in the middle of filming, so I will be right back to finish these off. Okay, so in order to do the garlic parmesan wings, I heated up some olive oil um, over medium and then put some just like coarsely chopped garlic. I don't need the garlic to be like super fine or fancy. So I'm just gonna let it cook for a minute to let the garlic flavor kind of come out a little bit more. And a little bit more olive oil because I want to be able to truly coat these wings. So it's just kind of like infusing the olive oil with this garlic. I'm gonna wait till the garlic gets just like a little bit brown. So now that some of the garlic is starting to brown up a little bit, I'm going to take the wings and just place them top down first just to kind of absorb that flavoring a little bit. Get that nice and coated. And then in the meantime, while I'm kind of letting the wings soak, up all of that oil. I made myself a Caesar salad to go with my wings. I always get the Taylor Caesar chopped kit. This is my favorite one. The dressing on this one is really, really good. And I love that the croutons are actually crumbled. You guys can see it there. They're not actually like full croutons, but they're just like these crumbled pieces. And I don't know, it's just really, really good and delicious. So the garlic's starting to get pretty brown, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the wings. Oops. Oh my god, it's sped at me. And put the other side, get all of that garlic goodness. Here are the wings out of the pan. And then just going to hit it with some parmesan. And there we go. Some garlic parmesan wings. Yum. All right, so I have my wings and my salad. I've been banished here to the bedroom because Trevor is watching football and I don't want to watch football. I'm just not that type of girl. But I'm having my meal with a bubbly. This is the raspberry one. It's the best flavor ever. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, eat dinner. And then once he's done with football, hopefully flip it like Disick will have recorded. So I'm excited to watch that. That's like my favorite. Sunday show right now. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this vlog and I will see you on the next one when we will be going to the Queen Mary to start Halloween festivities. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so that you can see that. Bye!